it's going to take for down and out software as a service stocks to get their mojo back. We've seen it happen to a bunch of them. Look at New, Re- New Relic. Hey, long time guest. The cloud based applications performance monitoring play, meaning the platform helps clients keep track of what their business software is doing, how customers are interacting with it in real time. New Relic has been one of the hottest and most reliable stocks around. But in early August, the company issued disappointing guidance, stock got pulverized, investors started worrying about slowing growth, falling from mid 90s to the mid 50s. Now, last month, the company delivered a pretty solid quarter, and the stocks rebounded to the mid-60s as of today, but it still turned dramatically from the highs. So could this be the beginning of a larger comeback? Let's take a closer look with Lou Cerny. He's the founder and CEO of New Relic, who just held an investor day to make his case for the stock, and I want to know that case. Mr. Cerny, welcome back to Mad Money. Jim, Good to see you, Lou. Good to see you. Happy see holidays. You. All right. Happy holidays to you, and I know this must be a busy time because there are a bunch of websites that could uh, cost their companies millions if they go down during the holiday season. It is crunch time for our customers, right. Jim. Um, for so many of them, obviously, e-commerce companies, but also open enrollment. We've got a lot of companies in the healthcare space, people are flooding online to make sure they've got the right plans. And the thing is, this is when our team is at the ready to help our customers deliver a flawless digital experience. We do that with the New Relic One platform. All right, so uh, what was your message today? Because I know that there are a lot of analysts who have been saying, green shoots, green shoots, don't give up. And I know what I thought my favorite slide, our priority is growth. That's correct. Our priority is growth. And we've always had the long term in mind when we've done it. Uh, on your screen, you see the digital dashboard. I want right. you to scratch that out. It's the digital platform, Jim. Okay. So digital needs a platform, not a dashboard. And we spent two years building the New Relic One platform in anticipation of where the market's going. Our customers want one platform upon which to see everything going on in their digital business, application performance, infrastructure, and most recently, log machine data all in one place. That place is New Relic One, which is the platform upon which the future companies are going to make their digital businesses successful. Okay, if that's the case, on November 5th, an analyst who likes your stock, uh, BMO Capital, says, uh, this is for, uh, says longer and thus disappointing. First supported billings growth and guidance so is very weak. Billings growth was 1% year over year. That does not sound like growth, Lou. Well, we've been investing for the long term in building that platform, Jim. It was, and we anticipated where the market was going, and we did that. And while we were investing in that, we did that at the cost of uh, a lot of papers. Go ahead. No worries, no worries. Uh, you know, there were some short-term things we might have done were okay. we not investing for the future. But we think that when when this all plays out, our platform is going to pay the dividend. Okay, so now we go to uh, your CFO and corporate secretary, who says in the November conference call, turning to cash flow from operations nine million. Free cash flow is defined by cash from operations minus capital expenditures and capitalized software development costs. Negative. Negative $8 million. We can't have that, Lou. Well, we're a growth company, Jim. We're investing for growth. And so, so uh, as, as we've built out the platform capabilities, we feel like that's what the market needs. And our customers are telling us great things. We think as we look out, the unit economics are great. We've got among the very highest gross margins of any SaaS company. So the unit economics are great. And as our customers adopt the platform, it'll show up in cash flow and, and, uh, and ultimately profitability. So can we say, as some of the analysts like J.P. Morgan wants to say very much uh, in a note from, again, from November, second quarter signs of stabilization mm-hmm. encouraged by some of the early commentary uh, it, And maybe the cash flow guidance is going to get better from here. Well, I don't want to talk about anything different from what we have said already on our our guidance. So we feel good about our guidance. But what we do believe is that we have now delivered the platform. We have everything we need in place, the products, the platform, and the field to be a billion-dollar business. And now it's time to focus on a performance culture. But you did push back your timetable for when you're going to be a billion-dollar business. We still feel comfortable with uh, being a billion in the time frame that we've, we've put out to the, the new street. time frame, yes, the new, 2023. That's right. And, and that's still a healthy, growing business that will have nice margins. And there's plenty of upside from there. We, we're not looking to stop at a billion. We worked on this platform. We started the platform work thinking to ourselves, what does New Relic need to be a $4 billion business? Right, okay. And so the platform is the underfly- underpinnings that will support the growth beyond the billion dollar. Okay, rate. so how is the churn and how's the upsell for those, thou- those huge number of $100,000 customers you have? So, yeah, one of the things we're really focusing on, we talked about in our investor day today, was that we have 900 customers today 
that pay $100,000 or more. Right. And when you look at that segment, they retain very well. They retain well north of 90 percent. Um, so, and they grow their spend better with us. The average customer in that segment spends 450000 So our strategic goal as we think about growing our business is to add to that number of customers. We want to add 1,000 of those customers over the course of our journey to a billion dollars. Well, I'm trying to understand your pricing. If my uh, retailer, my, my business, my website goes down in, for 16 hours, it could cost me $10 million dollars. Why am I not paying New Relic more? Why can't I get New Relic to make me pay more? Oh, well, we actually have many, many customers spending far more than a million dollars with us. Okay. Um, I think the last number we quoted was eight, 80 customers plus spending a million or more on New Relic. And I think our largest customer is, is around the $10 million a year spend rate. So we certainly have strategic value. And now with our platform, we're making it the natural thing to bet larger, uh, larger investments on. We just want to put that base of $100,000 customers in place so that'll sustain growth far beyond the billion dollar. Okay, and you have said in your conference calls in the analyst meeting that there's no, there's absolutely, there's no demand issue, right? That isn't what drove the stock down. It was just you had this transition. That's correct. But it was not, there's not less demand for new republics for New Relic's product. I'm grilling you in this, Lou, because the stock got hurt, and I've been recommended for a long time. So you Jim, know here, Here's where we are. We're in the age of software, right? Okay. And so we're in a software economy. I believe there's going to be more software written in the next 10 years than there's been written in the last 50 years. Okay. I'm about to turn 50. So in all my life, there's been less software written than there will be in the next decade. We are well positioned to be the platform upon which people deliver more perfect software. If you look at the right time frame, if you look at the if over the long term, we believe we're well positioned to sustain great growth. OK, so uh, what can we say about the new platform versus the old digital dashboard? Do the salespeople understand it? There were questions about European salespeople. There were questions on the conference call about just nitty gritty about who's selling what. Well, as you know, we have transitioned from being um, and uh, we started off as an application performance right. management company. Then we added these other products. And what we decided to do, which was we believe, you know, visionary and ahead of the market was put it all into a single platform that that integrates those products well together. And and um, as we are doing that, um, that has required our, our team to understand and evolve how they sell. We've gone through the training to help enable them to sell okay. the platform, and that's what we're focused on uh, going into the rest of this, the back half of this fiscal and into the next fiscal. Well, I should emphasize this is your fifth anniversary. I think you had to take that next step in order Absolutely. to be able to get to that billion. Uh, all these transitions are hard. Yes. But you have uh, your timetable, 2043, we're going to hold it to your billion, right? And you feel confident. We do. Look, um, I decided to invest this in this platform because we've all heard of or read the innovator's dilemma. Absolutely. We it's so to get, tough. We needed to get out ahead of that before right. we, we had no choice in the matter. So we invested ahead for that platform. That came at some short-term mm -hmm. cost. But I've always uh, managed the business for the long term. I'm the largest shareholder in the company. And so I'm thinking about New Relic for five years from now, and I'm excited where it's going to be. And I am so glad you are here because, you know, I believe in you and I believe in your product. And to see you in person, have you say that means a great deal to us. Happy fifth anniversary. Thank you, Jim. Okay, absolutely. All right. That's Lou Cerny. He's the founder and CEO of New Relic. It is the best software. And they've got a brand, brand new, let's cross out dashboard, let's use platform. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.